Hey guys, it's David with uh, True Dreams Fitness. Hey, today we got a recipe for you guys that uh, you definitely, definitely have to check out. Anybody that loves pizza, this is your recipe because this recipe is not only awesome and tasting, but you can actually fit it in your daily macros for most plans. Speaking of macros, let me show you what those look like. For one eight inch crust, now this is the crust only, and then of course everything depends on what you put on it, but one eight inch crust, 49 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and 14 grams of protein. So great macros, you can add all your toppings on it and make a phenomenal pizza. So today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite pizzas, but for now, we're gonna get started with all the ingredients for making this crust, and there's not a lot of ingredients, guys. So, super, super simple. You know, we have a scale, of course, and with the bowl, we have, we like to use some Shobani non-fat plain yogurt. We're gonna use uh, 90 grams of that. We have 60 grams of self-rising flour. And then we're gonna have a pinch of kosher salt, tablespoon of garlic powder, and a tablespoon of oregano. So again, this is gonna be super awesome. And, uh, <laughs> and, and what's really nice about it is you can obviously eat it fresh. We tend, we like to put it into a eight inch. And if you don't have these eight inch pans, grab you some from Amazon. These non-stick eight inch pans sure makes life easy uh, because you can easily put it in here. And uh, what we're gonna do today, you can cook it right away if you like. Um, we're gonna cook it for about eight to 10 minutes on air fry. So it just depends if you like a real crispy crust or if you like a little soft. Uh, I like mine a little soft, so usually I do for eight. But we're gonna put it in the pan and I'm gonna let it set and rise at room temperature for about 40 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll we'll cook it and uh, just, to, just to get a little puffiness of the dough. So just something else to try. But let's, uh, without further ado, let's get moving on adding the ingredients. So we're gonna start off with 60 grams. Turn on our scale. If you guys don't have a good scale, I recommend to get one. This one actually is a 0.1 scale. The cheap one we got on Amazon. I like it so far. This is what it looks like, a little digital scale, but it's 0.1, so man, it's easy to switch between all the grams, ounces, whatever, uh, and then it's real easy to zero out. So we're gonna add in 60 grams of self-rising flour. Boom, look at that on the dot, baby, 60 grams. All right, and then now we've got 90 grams of Bonnie plain yogurt. Now, of course, you can zero it out if you want, or if you're good with math, you can just add 90 and 60, which is 150. We'll go with that. 150 is what I'm looking for. Got it. Okay, so we got yogurt, we got flour. Now we're gonna have a little bit of garlic powder. Like I said, this is just like one gram. There we go. And then oregano is one, well, it's one teaspoon. So I usually use a pizza oregano uh, on top of my cheese when I'm actually gonna cook it. And then it's a dash of salt. Boom. So what I usually do is I'll lightly coat my cutting board with a teensy bit of flour. I don't put a whole lot of flour. This is really just to, that's about all I put on. Um, Cause I'm just trying to keep my hands from sticking to the dough so it's gonna look like this guys. Hopefully you can see that real well. And then I'm just gonna stir it up with a spoon at first, just to kind of get it to come together. I told someone else about this recipe and uh, how to make it. And they didn't, they didn't think that uh, it was, 
had enough water or something in it for it to all come together there's a bunch of extra <laughs> so this is this is perfect it works every single time what i'll do is i'll take it off the spoon with my finger a couple times try and incorporate it get all that flour on there so we're trying to get a ball and it eventually gets most of it stick it on there if you can see that or not kind of move it around press it and it's about to the point where I'm gonna start using my hand so I'll scrape the rest of it off there we go it's a little bit sticky right now so I'll get rid of the spoon and then this is where I'll grab my, grab my hands and then I'll just start going around the bowl trying to get all the rest of the flour and you can pre-make these guys so uh, meaning you know you can make several dough balls store them in the refrigerator uh, or you can go ahead and cook them off uh, all at the same time and then also store them in the refrigerator so then all you gotta do is put your toppings on and heat it up and have a pizza within like five minutes so again this is what I do with the ball see now it's all incorporated and it's still a little sticky so this is where I'll use the little extra flour I have on just put a little bit of flour I don't need a lot so it's not sticking to my hands so see it's like a nice little ball and if you're doing a bunch of these you can let them sit out let it let it rise if you want um i'm just doing one pizza super fast so here's what i do i lightly spray my pan and then i'll put my dough boom you see that right there and then what i do is i push in the middle I just use my fingertips just kind of move it around I'm trying to keep it from tearing, so I put my fingers uh, in the flour, and uh, I don't want to put a whole bunch of extra flour on here. I'm just trying to keep my fingers from sticking and uh, and moving this pizza all the way to the edges. And uh, like I said, try not to make it too thin where it's going to rip. So I just keep kind of dipping my fingers in as I feel it sticking to the dough, and just keep kind of pounding it. And, Pushing it from the middle outward like this. And uh, we're getting very close to getting exactly what I want. You can make it as perfect as you want to make it. <laughs> or you can just slop it in there. It's up to you guys. But I like to get where the crust is pretty even around all the edges where there's not a lot of little cracks and whatnot. So I, I spent a little more time trying to get the edges all purty. But just like that, I've got an eight inch nice crust. And again, it's not thin because I've moved it from the middle to the edges. So just like that, boom, we got our crust. And it's not just packed with flour on top, just enough to, to get it where it's not totally sticking to my hand. So we're gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna leave it out for about 40 minutes. And then, uh, then we're gonna cook it into the, uh, the oven over there. We're gonna air fry it for probably uh, a good eight minutes and then uh, then we'll make some pizza after that so keep watching because the best part is the end so here we go guys all right so it's been about 30 40 minutes and it's rose a little bit it's a little puffiness so it's nice and soft and so now i'm going to put this into the oven uh, we have a oven that can do all kinds of different settings so we're going to do air fry and we're just going to put put this bad boy in here and uh, it's at 400 degrees, guys. And we're going to do eight minutes. Uh, I always do the timer on my phone because I move around the house and I don't want to miss it. Okay, so we got eight minutes on here. And again, if you want this a little crispier, uh, you can do it for 10. But uh, eight minutes seems to be really perfect, especially if you guys plan on keeping it. Uh, if you're pre-making a few of these so you can keep them in the refrigerator and maybe bring one out to have a pizza throughout the week. Uh, I highly recommend the eight, but it's up to you how thin and how crispy you like it. So we're gonna wait for this to be uh, cooking here in eight minutes. And then I'm gonna show you all the goodies over here because we got some awesome things that we're gonna be putting on this pizza. Uh, you could use a typical marinara sauce or whatever, but no, we're gonna step it up. We got some no sugar added barbecue. We're gonna put that on there. We got some red onions. We got some fat-free mozzarella cheese, a little bit of coconut spray, some black pepper, 
some jalapenos because we gotta keep it spicy. A little bit of tomato and then some uh, maple sausage links. So uh, as I put it together, I'll give you guys some macro breakdowns on this and what it looks like. As it stands, if you were to do exactly this, and I'll, I'm gonna show you guys here in a second after that's all cooked, I'm putting all the toppings and how I do that. But if you were to eat this or make this exactly the way I've made it uh, or laid out with the dough, with the breakfast sausage, chicken maple link, Applegate, Applegate natural chicken maple links, <laughs> uh, and 70 grams of cheese with all these toppings, uh, you're looking at a total of 519 calories. That's it, 519 calories. 56 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, 11, and 46 grams of protein. Again, macros will be awesome. So can't wait for this to be done. I'll put all the toppings on there and we'll get this bad boy back in the oven for an additional five minutes to melt the cheese and then we're gonna eat it. All right, so it's time to take this bad boy out of the oven. It's been roughly eight minutes, so we're gonna turn this off. And look at that, guys. Look at that. Little light golden brown. Oh, yeah. So, usually what I'll do is I'll grab some parchment paper. That's what I'm gonna cook it on. And uh, get this out of the pan. Set so a little part sticking. There we go. Boom. All right. Now the fun begins. So we have a nice eight inch crust. So again, we have all our toppings all set and ready to go. So we're gonna start with some raised barbecue. Typically I'll do a light brown. I'll put too much on. I don't like to be overly sauced, but you know, you sauce as much as you want. And then we'll grab a spoon and you know, gotta make sure the sauce is done right. So you wanna evenly spread. I like to leave a little bit of edge on there so you got a little crust. Yeah, there we go. So boom, nice, even. Okay. So then I come back, I like put my little red onions. That's about 30 grams of red onions. I like a lot of red onions. It's up to you guys on toppings. This is all, you know, optional what you want to put on your pizza. Uh, but as you see here, um, the macros I listed earlier, and I'll put them back on the screen so you guys can see. So we've got onions. I like it spicy. So we're gonna add lots of jalapenos. And you can have as much fun with this as you want, guys. But this is a nice macro-friendly pizza. All right, and then I am going to so here are my maple sausage links. So I have three of those, and I pre-cook uh, these, uh, and then I'll cut them up. Typically, I'll do three cuts. So that gives me four sets of these little bitty, I'm like a little sausages, I guess, but much better for you on the macros. These are actually higher in protein. And uh, boom, see, look, at, look how much meat's on there, man. And then I am going to finish with some 70 grams of some mozzarella cheese, fat-free mozzarella cheese. Because again, I'm trying to keep those macros in check, so I just dump all that on there. And then, of course, you got to spread a little bit. You got to get it to the edge. Can't be all looking amateurish here. You got to make it pretty. Get the pizza or the, get the cheese off the edge of the crust. You know. So look at that, boom. Okay, now I'll put a few tomatoes on there, top it off with all this cheese. Again, guys, you can be as creative as you want with these, but man, is your mouth watering yet? Because I am starving. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so here's one trick I've learned that uh, works really, really good. Right before you put it in the oven, take your nonstick spray. Let's do a, a light coat on the cheese, on the fat-free cheese. That's that's where it's at. And I like to top it. The thing I never did before is some fresh ground black pepper. I like to put a little coat on there. 
So we're gonna take this gently, boom, to our oven and put it in here. And we're just really just gonna leave it in there long enough to melt the cheese. Typically about five minutes. So once this gets heated up, we'll, uh, we'll show you guys as we take it out and uh, how this bad boy tastes. So uh, keep watching. All right guys, it's been five minutes and check this puppy out. We got cheese, nicely melted, light gold brown. So we we'll take my. What's nice about this parchment paper is super easy because you can just pull it out and then slide right off the parchment paper to your to your plate. Look at that! Oh my god, cheese beautifully melted, lightly golden brown around the edges, and I tell you what, guys, that's that's gonna be some. So we're gonna have to cut this bad boy open and uh we'll cut it in four slices and we'll give it a taste test so here we go all right so time for the true test we'll cut this bad boy up now hear that crunch oh yeah nice look at that oh four slices once, look at that, look at that, oh my goodness. The cheese, it's melted, all your toppings, you got your jalapenos, tomatoes, your maple sausage links, a little bit of barbecue underneath, your onions, oh man. Mix with the paper, or the <laughs> pepper, white pepper on there, and then look at that crust. See that nice crust in there? See the nice golden brown on the bottom? And then, Mad Tasia. Mmm, look at that cream. Look at that cheese. Guys, <clears throat> so good, so good. What's awesome is that not only tastes good again, I'm gonna go back to, you can put this in your normal daily eating if you want, because the macros are just great. Just for one more time, and again, I've said it already, total macros in this bad boy, 56 grams of carbs, 11, only 11 grams of fat, 46 grams of protein. You guys gotta try it out. Please leave me comments down below, uh, and let me know how you guys have made it uh, your favorite, and what you've changed to make it so awesome for you guys, because we're always looking at great ideas what other people are putting on their pizzas, and, and their food, and how they're changing it up to, to meet their needs. So. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and uh, give us a like. So we hope to see you guys in the next one. See you guys.